What's going on everybody? I am back. Yes, as you can see the computer is up and running. Everything is going smoothly and I am right now just about to get back to the swing of things and edit videos and get to uploading. I have so much stuff to get to uh, for you guys that, you know, just that I've kind of acquired over the past uh, two months that this dilemma has been happening. And uh, in this video I wanted to detail exactly what you guys can expect. Uh, for the upcoming next pretty much month of nothing just but content, all right? So I made a list, all right? And uh, that list basically has a bunch of uh, dates pretty much every single day until the 18th because I ran out of, you know, paper to, to actually write stuff on um, of just nothing but content and videos for you guys. We're gonna go over not everything, um, but I'm gonna go over to the bulk of things of what you guys can expect and uh, just get right to it, all right? So today I'm gonna be uploading two videos. I expected to get this done yesterday, but I was busy yesterday and uh, didn't have time to basically record anything or edit anything. And uh, last night I just basically completed the build, built it all, and uh, it was like 1.30, 2 in the morning. I was like, I need to go to bed. So I just went to bed and now it's the next morning and I booted this computer up and everything is fine. So immediately following this video, you guys are going to see the Uncharted 4 Libertalia Collector's Edition unboxing. Uh, that I got, you know, obviously on release date, but I didn't have a computer to upload it. So I'm going to edit that. It's going to be nice and uh, really cool. And that is the video that you guys will see after this one. Immediately following this video, you guys are going to be seeing the Acer X34 Predator unboxing. This behemoth of a monitor right now that's behind me. Uh, I unboxed it. Now I bought the monitor used. Uh, that being said, um, you guys aren't going to see like the official box or anything like that. But the guy did package it well and I still, you know, think it's a good unboxing to upload and whatnot. So uh, keep that in mind. Alright, you guys are going to see an unboxing for this. Tomorrow you guys are basically going to see the GTX 1080 unboxing, alright? So all you guys who have been like missing unboxings, you're like, you know, he really used to do good unboxings. Just, uh, just sucks that, you know, they haven't been up really lately. Tons of unboxings pretty much coming, all right? So the GTX 1080 unboxing will be coming tomorrow. It's in my computer right now. I installed the driver updates. Um, I have yet to overclock or do anything like that, uh, but so far it's uh, pretty exciting, all right? On Thursday, we have the Mirror's Edge Catalyst Xbox One controller unboxing. It's been sitting in my closet for the past like three, four weeks. Um, that being said, uh, I bought the controller as a Mirror's Edge fan. I'm going to be using it for my Mirror's Edge Catalyst playthrough stream, and uh, I want to have the unboxing and stuff like that. I was in, I was going to rate originally to have the controller unboxing as well as the art book. I'm still going to wait for the art book until I get my official collector's edition um, from Amazon or whatnot. But because the shipping's kind of been down, they they kind of you know haven't really got their um, I guess their quantity uh, situated or organized, I'm still waiting on that, all right? So they said shipment date is between like June 30th and August 31st, which is just ridiculous. Uh, but let's hope that it comes soon. And when it comes, that will be an unboxing. I will unbox the art book with it. But for now, I want to unbox the controller since I'm gonna be playing the game before I probably get the collector's edition and whatnot. All right, so we also have um, a vlog coming up on Friday, which is June 24th. And uh, that's gonna be my vlog about what it's like attending E3. I'm gonna be talking about my experiences, not about the press conferences and what I think, but more about attending the actual events and what that was like and meeting people and developers and being around that, that vibe and everything like that. So on Friday, I wanna do a vlog about that and uh, it's gonna be pretty detailed and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Uh, on Saturday, we have um, basically a montage of videos that are being played in ultra wide resolution. You guys remember I did this for 4K. What I did for 4K really is I uploaded 30 minute videos of every single like individual games and I don't need to do that anymore. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to upload like a 20 minute video or something like that where I'm, we're going to be where I'm going to be capturing, excuse me, um, gameplay from all these different games. I want to do a montage and stuff like that and just put them like in an ultra wide format for you guys. All right. And uh, then on that uh, Saturday as well, I'm gonna be starting my Mirror's Edge Catalyst playthrough stream, all right? A lot of people ask me uh, for this and uh, I got tons of questions saying, are you gonna do a playthrough stream? Are you gonna do a playthrough? It's like, yes, I'm gonna do a playthrough. It's gonna have face cam. It's gonna be freaking awesome. It's gonna be on the new monitor. It's gonna be on the new graphics card. It's gonna run great. 
and uh, I just cannot wait to start playing the game finally, all right? So Mirror's Edge Catalyst playthrough stream debuts on Saturday, all right? I will be streaming it here on YouTube. So if you're subscribed to me on YouTube, you don't need to go anywhere. You don't need to go to my Twitch. Um, I don't really do Twitch anymore. It's just easier for me to stream to YouTube. Um, so it uploads directly to the channel afterwards and stuff like that, all right? So that Sunday, you guys, I, that, when, I, when I'm done streaming, I'm basically going to hide the video or, you know, put it as um, private or whatever. And then I'm going to have that go public on that following day, Sunday, um, for Mirror's Edge Catalyst, the playthrough stream part one. All right. Keep in mind, this is a completionist playthrough. I will be doing every side mission, um, the story missions, of course. I'm going to be collecting all the grid nodes, or grid leaks, excuse me. I'm going to be doing all the grid nodes. Um and a bunch of different stuff. So every single thing that has to do with Mirror's Edge, I will do in my completionist playthrough, everything. So looking forward to that, all right? Um, and that gameplay is gonna continue on through the weekend. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, and I'm gonna be uploading, I'm gonna be hiding those videos and then uploading them over the course of uh, a, a few days, all right? So you guys actually have content or whatnot. So if you can't make it to the playthrough stream, don't worry, those videos will be uploaded soon and uh, you guys aren't gonna miss anything, all right? But um, if you can make it to the playthrough stream, follow me on Twitter. That's when I'm going to announce what time I will be streaming. Um, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and uh, we're going to get we're going to get to it. It's going to be pretty awesome. All right. On Monday, um, that the next week, I'm actually going to start uploading my E3 impressions for games. All right. You guys voted that you want me to do individual videos um, for these games that I played at E3. All right. So uh, we're going to start off with Monday with Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. All right. My most anticipated game, my second most anticipated game of this year, being the first that was Mirror's Edge. Um, my second most anticipated game. I'm super super hyped to play it. Um, and, and get my hands on it and just, just experience the full game. And I got to play it at E3 twice. I got to play it on the Xbox One and also on the PC. Drastic differences between those two platforms. I'm, I'm not even kidding. So I am going to be um, uploading my E3 impressions starting with that video, and that will be uploaded alongside the Mirror's Edge Callus playthrough streams, all right? And pretty much from there on forward, there's going to be Ghost Recon Wildlands, For Honor, uh... Forza Horizon 3, Outlast 2, We Happy Few, uh, Sniper Elite 4, all of those games and much more, um, all those E3 impressions from the games that I played will be uploaded um, one video a day for the next... When do I actually end that? <laughs> it, I that Those videos will stop uploading... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, on Monday... July 11th. So basically uh, a new E3 impression every day until Monday, July 11th, all right? And then Tuesday on July 12th, um, I'm gonna talk about my my impressions from Ultra Wide Gaming now that I'm probably gonna get used to it and uh, everything like that and uh, I'm gonna compare it with 4K, compare and contrast it with 4K and do that for you guys. And then we'll probably be, we'll probably complete Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I'm expecting to complete it um, by like July 7th, Thursday, that's that's the last, that's when I stopped writing it down. Um, so that being said, immediately after Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I'm gonna be doing my fourth and final playthrough of Deus Ex Human Revolution. You guys know that I wanna do, just like I did for Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I wanted to do, I wanted to do preparing for Deus Ex Mankind Divided by playing through Deus Ex Human Revolution to Director's Cut, uh, which will be my first time actually playing through the Director's Cut. I played through the original game three times, loved it to death, and uh, I'm going to be playing through it, the Director's Cut, for the very first time, um, starting on, well, preferably starting on Saturday, July 9th, but may start earlier or later, depending on how long Mirror's Edge Catalyst takes me to complete. All right, so you guys will basically have those playthrough streams um, uploaded, start uploading for Deus Ex Human Revolution, the Director's Cut, and we're going to go on from there. Um, and I actually decided that on Wednesday, or any time after I beat Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I decided that I want to actually, I think I can actually do this, and I can actually have some good points to make, because I've been, even though I have, I've been playing the game on PS4, right, and I, I haven't been able to really proceed, I've been stopping my progress from proceeding to play the game any further than what I was able to in the uh, EA Access trial. 
um, even though that I've been playing the game, I've been writing stuff down, and uh, I have a feeling that I'm can I can do this really well, and I want to make a video how to make Mirror's Edge 3 the game of the year. All right, just like I did for Mirror's Edge uh, Callist, how to make Mirror's Edge 2 the game of the year. I want to do that for the successor to Callist, the sequel to Callist, and things like that for Mirror's um, for Mirror's Edge. All right, so. I, I think I can do that, and uh, the good news is, is I've actually, I've, um, there, there's a couple developers in, from DICE that I've actually, um, not really no, 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 but uh, I develop a somewhat decent relationship with on LinkedIn, and I have a feeling that if I do this video and if I post it, that they're going to see it. So, uh, that being said, this is a great way for me to actually get my full feedback on what I thought of Mirror's Edge Catalyst, as well as what I think they can really add to the game to make it the game of the year contender. Um, so we'll just do that, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So if you're a huge Mirror's Edge fan, if you ever saw my original How to Make Mirror's Edge 2 the game of the year, you absolutely loved it, I'm going to be doing it again for Mirror's Edge 3, and I got some cool ideas. I, already, I wrote some stuff down already, and it's, it's freaking awesome, all right? So be on the lookout for that. So then, the day after that, uh, I'm actually going to do a video where it's like the console game on a 21 by 9 monitor, which I've been doing for the past like three weeks. I've been playing my PS4 and my Xbox One with these black bars on the side, and I'm sure a lot of people have questions like, like, is it really distracting? I mean, I, I, I can't really just see myself doing that. That's just kind of annoying, but it's really not as bad as you think. So I want to touch upon that, because I think a lot of people, when they look at an ultra wide monitor, obviously it's meant for PCs, right? PCs and movie watching are like the main focus. When you have a con, but some of us, like myself, you know, we have our console set up along with our PC, and when we get a monitor like this, we get it for our PCs, but we also get it for our consoles. And, um, I just wanted to talk about what it's like the console game on a monitor like this that's ultra wide and you have the black bars on the side for 16 by 9 content. So I want to get to that, alright? Um, we also have the Mirror's Edge Callus Collector's Edition unboxing. Whenever I get that, I will upload it, but preferably if I can get it up by Jul July 15th, which is a Friday, hopefully I can get it by then, but we'll see, alright? Um, then I want to do, there's going to be another vlog after that, which I'm going to talk about um, storytelling how entertainment is storytelling, which is just, duh. But I think a lot of people don't actually understand that, so I'm going to talk about that, alright? And then uh, I want to talk about curved displays. Do they actually matter, alright? Do, does this actually help having a curved display? This is a 3800R curve, so it isn't even that curved. Um, the lower the number, the, the higher the curve is. But there is a new monitor, a new version of this monitor coming out, which, which has a 1900R curve which I'm really jealous about and uh, I kind of want to get. But <laughs> the thing with technology, man, is when you get top-end technology, like within like six months, they, they made something that's infinitely better. And it's frustrating, so fuck it. Um, so provided that I beat Deus Ex Human Revolution, the director's cut, um, by July 15th, July 16th, actually, uh, I'm going to start playing Inside. Inside is the game from the developers of Limbo. It is being released on the Xbox One at the end of this month, and I think on the PC shortly after. Um, so I'm probably, I may get it on Xbox One depending, uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but I want to play that game. That game seems really awesome. And uh, I, I absolutely love the Limbo. Limbo was a very surreal, very in incredible game when it came to atmosphere and things like that, and uh, it's just just a really just a really cool adventure. Um, and Inside is a game that I've been anticipating for quite some time since they showed it like two years ago or whatever it's been, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. So I want to see, um, uh, I want to play Inside, and that will happen after I complete Deus Ex Human Revolution, all right? And then uh, there's some more unboxings, like I want to get a new router and stuff like that, so maybe I'll unbox that. And that's basically what I have written. That's as much space as I have that, that I'm able to uh, write on that sheet of paper. Now, I'm going to try to follow this as closely as, and accurately as I can without missing too much. Um, there might be some things that I'm able to do and able to not do, but the, 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 the thing is, you guys should have at least a video, a guaranteed video, every single day for like a month straight, and uh, if not two videos. 
and uh, I really want to get this uh, going for you guys. I want to come back with you know a positive attitude, but also a high quality content and stuff that I wasn't able to do. Not that I wasn't able to do it before, but stuff that I guess I wasn't really motivated to do before. And your kindness, your patience, your 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 motivation to me to just sit here and say, hey, we're with you. Don't worry. You know, we're we're sitting here. We're we're perfectly fine. You know, just take care of what you need to take care of and things like that, especially with all the stuff that's been going on with my life and having to take that break as well, um, with not being able to, not, not that I necessarily could have before, but not being able to really do videos and stuff like that and, uh, and you know, play games and whatnot. And I really need, I really want to just establish a, a level of gratitude and, uh, and an amount of love for you guys as viewers and stuff like that, that, that just I realized that I had. And uh, I am so thankful for you guys and your passion and just your overall support in this. Um, there was there was a large speed bump that, that I hit in my life. And I kind of want to talk, I think I deserve to sort of give you guys somewhat of an explanation, but in a, in a later vlog. Um, but it was a bunch of stuff. It was like family issues, financial issues, um, relationship issues. There's like so much stuff going on that I just need to sort of take, take a step back and deal with it one at a time and not be distracted and things like that. So I owe you guys a lot really. And, uh, I know it was hard Two two months is a long time and it, it feels so odd being back here on my computer. Uh, I'm just like, uh, what, what's happening? <laughs> like, it's just so odd be, to be sitting here, like, holding this mouse and keyboard again and actually seeing cursors and text appear on screen and stuff like that. It's crazy. Um, but I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make content better, higher quality than I had before. I already have my graphic artist, Dylan, working on a new banner, a new logo, a new intro, and he's doing a fantastic job. Um, he, he, he's really trying to, you know, do something special for me and do something special for you guys, all right? So, following, immediately following this video, I'm gonna be starting to uh, edit my um, Uncharted 4 unboxing and my Acer X34 Predator unboxing, and you guys will see that today, and then tomorrow, more videos, more videos, more videos, more videos, and more videos. Mirrors Edge Callus debuts on Saturday. All right. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for your patience. And uh, I'm back. Let's fucking do this. Thanks.